Hi, my name is Mike, and in this video we're going to be looking at how to set up a Weiss Terminal Thin Client PC. A Weiss Terminal is a lightweight desktop computer designed for companies that have centralized IT resources. They don't run applications natively, however they allow you to run Windows applications through a virtualized Citrix desktop environment. You wouldn't use one of these as a normal desktop computer, but if your IT team has the correct resources, they work very well in environments where you need to rapidly provision a lot of lightweight client computers. Looking at the terminal itself, you'll see that it does appear to resemble a very small desktop PC tower. It has a variety of ports across the front and the back. You'll see it down at the bottom is the round barrel style power connector. Above that are three DisplayPort connectors, which this natively supports up to three DisplayPort monitors. There's four USB cords plugged in here above that. And if we pull it up and flip it over a little bit, you can see it also has a Ethernet cord plugged into it. There are a few other ports that are unused in this application. For example, this one also supports a old style VGA monitor. Looking at it from the front, you can see those the headset and microphone, a USB-C, as well as several USB 3.0 and 2.0 plugs. One of those on the front has the receiver for the wireless keyboard and mouse plugged in. In this particular application, all of the cords are bundled together with this wire loom and then run under the desk and through various pieces of loom just to complete the installation and make it look neat. You can see those three USB cords, as well as three DisplayPort cables, are plugged into the back of each of these three 24-inch Dell monitors. As I said before, the WISE terminal does natively support up to three simultaneous displays when using DisplayPort connections. This is a planar monitor stand, and the wires are just kind of ran through this loom and zip tied into place just to provide a neat appearance. Looking at it on the back of each monitor, you'll see where the display port and USB cables are plugged in, as well as the power cable for each monitor. The reason for the USB cables going to each monitor is to activate the built-in hub. Each monitor has several USB ports on the bottom, as well as on the sides, and in order to activate those, you need to plug in the USB cables to the computer. Looking at our setup from the front, you can see off to the left is the desk phone with wireless headset. The desk phone is an Avaya desk phone with a Plantronics wireless headset. Underneath the desk is our UPS battery backup. This protects the unit from shutting down in the event of a power surge or power failure and protects all of your data so that you don't lose any open applications or documents that you're working on in the event that the power goes out. This is a CyberPower model UPS rated for 1500 VA. On the back of the CyberPower, some of the ports are white and those are the ones that are both battery backup and surge protected. The other ports over here on this side are surge protected only. There's one USB cord here on the top running from the computer to the UPS. That allows the computer to monitor the power status. So for example, if the power were to go out, the UPS would notify the computer so that it can affect an orderly shutdown if the power stays out for too long. You also have several wires tucked up under here, most of them running through this wire loom for neatness. It helps keep the cables from being tripped over as much as possible. Also under the desk, you can see the network jack, one for the WISE terminal and one for the phone. The phone is a PoE phone, which means it receives its power over the network from the network switch. Getting back to our WISE terminal PC setup, you'll see from the front there is the wireless keyboard and mouse, which are connected through that little USB receiver you saw on the front of the unit, as well as the three 24-inch Dell monitors on the planar monitor stand, 
and also this standing desk adapter which allows the entire workstation to raise and lower for convenience and comfort of the person working here. One other setup tip I can provide is if you hook this up for the first time and you notice that all three monitors are showing the same image, you can adjust that through the settings on the WISE terminal. And you do this actually before you log in for the first time. It's not like it is through Windows where you would have a display properties. On the WISE terminal, you would click anywhere on a blank area of the desktop, go to System Setup, Display, which is presents you with this screen, which shows mirror mode. So we want to turn that off. And now you can see the one, two, three monitor configuration. You can also click on the middle one and make sure that that's set to be your main screen. In this case, it already is the main screen, so that option is grayed out. But for example, if I were to select one, you see I have the option of making that my main screen. Basically what main screen does is it just controls where the Windows taskbar and start menu and your desktop icons are placed. In a typical setup like this, the main screen would be the center one, whereas if you only had two monitors, the main screen would be the left one. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply and OK. And then after a moment, all three screens should come on and you'll see that this provides, if you drag a window, across your screens, everything is logically placed. I hope this video has been helpful to you with setting up your own WISE terminals. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, have a great day, and stay safe out there.